been a wild week of GoPro videos on this channel, and today I have one more for you with today's Quick Tip Tuesday. Because a ton of you asked about shooting GoPros in low light, shooting them in low light and shooting them at nighttime. What are the what are the tricks? What are the kind of the key elements to have dialed in on your GoPro for those situations? And while I've said before, GoPros just aren't designed for that. If you find yourself in that situation, what do you do? Today I got a preset for you. And there's one thing in particular that is super important. It's kind of the, the key element to getting decent video at night with a GoPro. And if this video helps you guys out, hit that like button, it helps me a ton. And today's video is brought to you once again by Epidemic Sound. If you guys are making videos on YouTube, you should be using Epidemic Sound. Audio in your videos is, is what conveys emotion. It, it conveys more emotion than the visuals. The, the audio means more emotionally than the video. Like, have you ever seen when they take something like Dumb and Dumber, a total ridiculous comedy, but then they, they rework the trailer with really dramatic music, really emotional music, and you watch it and you go, oh, wow, music really does matter. And that's where Epidemic Sound comes in. They're the soundtrack of this channel, and I got a free trial for you guys in the first link in the description. Click in there, go into Epidemic Sound, download a bunch of music, make some videos, put them on YouTube, totally free during that trial period. Yeah, give it a shot. You're gonna, gonna like Epidemic Sound. And lastly, before we get into it, what do you guys, what do you guys think of this, this t-shirt? Check this t-shirt out. It's a, it's a saying that I wrote down on a notebook a long time ago, and it's kind of always been this saying that's really stuck in my brain, but it's, it's try hard, take chances. And because it's always been kind of my life's motto or my, my thought process whenever I'm jumping into something new or I'm trying something new, I thought I'd, I thought I'd make it a t-shirt. Let me know what you guys think. You guys, you guys want this shirt? Let's try hard, take chances. Let me know in the comments if you guys want it and I'll make a batch of them. All right, so I've said I don't really shoot at night with the GoPros, but I've also been out traveling where we go out at night and I don't wanna take my big camera, maybe maybe get it stolen from me, so I take a GoPro. And today we're gonna to walk you through the preset that I have set up for my GoPro and, and hopefully it'll help you get the best possible video in low light or at nighttime with a GoPro. Again, it's not gonna be great, it's, it's a GoPro. Tiny little sensor, but these settings They'll, they'll at least get you the best possible results. And I've actually gone out and shot some comparison shots for you to check out some of the different settings. And I did it of a water fountain at night. So it's low light and there's a lot of motion in the water. It's gonna be a great representation of how things look on the GoPro. And for this first setup, we're starting at 5K, 24 frames a second. Shutter is to auto. Bit rate high, EV comp zero, ISO min, 100 ISO max, 800 sharpness low, and color GoPro. And then I also shot it on the GoPro Hero 8. I used this, this little dual rig to set up the Hero 9 and the Hero 8, so we can kind of see a little bit of a comparison. On the Hero 8, the same settings, but at 4K. And you'll see, honestly, it's, it's not terrible. It's a little dark, but there's something going on here that that you kind of can't tell unless we change a few settings. And the first setting that we're gonna change, and it's the thing that is most important to shooting GoPro video at nighttime, we are gonna switch the shutter to 1 48th of a second. Because I'm at 24 frames a second, I'm gonna double that, which gives me 1 48th of a second. I'm gonna set my shutter to that. We follow the 180 rule. We get the appropriate amount of motion blur and something very interesting happens to the GoPros. All other settings stay the same the video gets darker. Which means that the GoPro at night, if you put shutter to auto, it will actually go below the 180 rule in order to get more light. And what's the 180 rule there for in the first place? Well, the 180 rule is what gives us the proper amount of motion blur. If we crank that shutter higher, we get less and less and less motion blur to where it looks oddly things things don't move, like my hand has a little bit of blur when I do this, it wouldn't be there if my shutter was cranked up super high. But then if I went super, super low, any motion, even really slow motion like this, you'll start seeing blur in it. But at nighttime, if you have your GoPro set to auto shutter, the GoPro will automatically go below that, which is why so many people complain about having blurry videos on their GoPro at night. They have the shutter set to auto, the GoPro is below the 180 rule, and you get a lot of weird motion blur where there, there shouldn't be blur. All right, so problem solved, we set it to 1 48th of a second at 24 frames a second. But again, when we did that, we actually got our image a little darker, so we're losing a bit of light. So how do we get more light? The aperture on this thing is set at 2.8. The last way to go is ISO. 
ISO. We have to bump our ISO. So let's take our ISO max and we're gonna bump that up to 1600 and you can see right away, it looks pretty dang good. And this is totally unedited. This is straight out of camera. This is what both of these cameras look like. And I would say that that amount of light, that exposure is about what the fountain looks like at night. It's not super crazy bright, but it's, it's kind of like that. So while going to 1600 ISO on a GoPro, not a great idea. We do start to lose some quality. We start to introduce some noise. In order to get that light, I would rather get noise than unnecessary blur. So in order to get the right exposure at night, we're going to go 1 48th of a second and we're going to keep that ISO at ISO max 1600. We're going to let it go up to 1600. Now the next thing we're going to talk about with shooting GoPros at night is HyperSmooth. And unfortunately, HyperSmooth, it does not work very well at night. While there's no movement in the image, it doesn't look terrible at night. It's not horrible, but as soon as you kind of start seeing some movement in the image, as soon as you start seeing action of any kind, even just walking, you start realizing that hyper smooth breaks down a ton, and then that's really when you start seeing a lot of noise. This is actually decently bright for what would be considered a low light scenario, but if I turn this way or this way and I do a little, a little run, with the camera, you're gonna see that HyperSmooth, HyperSmooth breaks down pretty quick. So again, the reason that HyperSmooth doesn't work well at night is because it needs really nice crisp images to be able to analyze each frame and make sure to be able to line them up. And at, at nighttime, it just doesn't have that ability. I still leave it on because it does give you a slightly better improvement over not having it on, but it's, it's not great. So basically at night, if I have my GoPro out, I am filming at night, I try to minimize motion as much as possible. I'm usually kind of shooting more static images or really slowly moving the camera because again, eh, hyper smooth, not great. And the last key thing is white balance. And at nighttime, most cameras, almost all cameras kind of struggle with white balance. Auto white balance usually looks a little yellow at nighttime and we want to kind of blue that out, which looks a little bit cleaner. It actually looks a little bit brighter because it's bluer. So on our GoPro and really any camera, you want to set the white balance manually at nighttime. And on the GoPros, we're going to stick somewhere between 3000 and 4000 Kelvin. All these test videos were shot at 3200 Kelvin, but again, it's going to be based on that situation. So somewhere in there, usually I, I kind of stick to that 3000 or 3200 side of things. I'll go up to 4000 if the lights that we're in require that, but kind of just look at the, the image on the back of the screen, play with it, get it to where it looks good, and boom, manual white balance. So we have our shutter is set to 1 48th of a second if we're shooting at 24 frames a second. And by the way, if you're at 24 frames a second, and you're at 1 48th of a second, that lets the most amount of light in. If you jump to 30 frames a second at 1 60th of a second, we've actually reduced the amount of light that the sensor is taking in because we've gone up to 1 60th of a second and not 1 48th of a second. So do yourself a favor at night, shoot at 24 frames a second. Then we're bumping that ISO up to 1600. We are reducing motion as much as possible. If you're talking to camera, don't be walking around, just stop, talk to the camera, move the camera slowly through whatever scene you're dealing with. And then lastly, set your white balance to manual. Just go in there, look at the rear screen, get it dialed into where it looks good, and boom, you have now the best preset for nighttime GoPro shooting. It's, it's not ideal shooting on a GoPro, but if you have to, if that's the camera that's in your pocket while you're out at night, this, uh, this preset's for you. Hope you guys like it. If you liked it, hit that like button below. Maybe you, you think about subscribing and let me know let me know if you guys want me to make this shirt. If you guys would, if you guys would want a, a shirt that says try hard, take chances. Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys soon and uh, try hard, take chances. Huh? <laughs>